Welcome back to Arabian Nightmare, the Kuwait War, Strategy, Strategy and Tactics, number 139, produced by 3W in 1990. Um, this is the end of turn two. The Iraqis have pretty much captured Kuwait. Um, they've got a few units to knock out yet, mainly these units here um, once they eliminate them they will have captured all of Kuwait Kuwait City has been captured by the Saladin Armored uh, Division um, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for Kuwait after this the Iraqis can then start uh, the invasion of Saudi Arabia we already have some reinforcements coming in. We have a couple of American units that have come into an air base in uh, Saudi Arabia. Not sure what the air base is called. Couldn't pronounce it if I did. Um, we have some other reinforcements. The blue units here, the helicopter unit and the special forces unit are French. And we'll see. And a couple of the units up here under this stack. Uh, some American Special Forces have arrived in Riyadh. And the Saudi units are starting to move out of uh, the Riyadh area and moving up towards the uh, Kuwait border, the Iraqi border. Um, I'm just not satisfied with the way air power is presented, even in the introductory game. Uh, even at its most basic level of just air points when you've got all these other you know you've got these really rich richly detailed air units with their anti-air ratings at the top left and their aerial bombardment and the lower um, ground attack on the lower left and then you got their movement rates on the far right bottom side uh, and the type of unit and all that stuff, um, I think that would make the game a lot richer to be able to abuse those even in the basic game. Um, yeah, excuse me. So, I don't know. The game's not really holding my interest at the moment. I have several other games that I like on the Operation Desert Storm, Desert Shield, that type of thing. Golf Strike. Um, I have Desert Victory. Is it Desert Victory? Uh, something like that. But even so, this game is just not just not doing it for me. Um, not quite sure why. There are there is some errata in the rules that make it a little bit less inviting to play. Not too much, but enough to kind of just go, hmm, what do I do now? Or what does this mean? Or can I do this? So, I don't know. I've got other things I'd like to move on to, but I just want to kind of give a a look at the game in case you have a copy and haven't played it or want to pick up a copy. It's okay. I don't think the, the military game and the political game, I don't know how they um, join together and how much... Um, what you get out of the two, if you can even play the two together. I'm not sure the political game and the advanced military game, um, I think they do combine into kind of a campaign kind of a game. I'm just not sure how, because I haven't read that far. And the rules are very tough to read. Um, lots of acronyms and just, you know, just kind of a jumble um, of different systems and subsystems just scattered all over the place. Uh, even the uh, introductory rules are divided up by uh, some other charts that belong to... well actually they're... well... they set nestled between the political game and part of the military game. Uh, so it's kind of a... it's kind of a hodgepodge it was really done kind of as a rush 
a rush project, I think, after the uh, original event. So, I don't know. Anyway, this will probably be the last video in this particular uh, on this particular game. Um, I got plenty plenty else to keep me busy. I'm gonna try and put out. I'm gonna try and change my format a little bit. You know, every video I keep thinking, well, this is gonna be different. I've got a whole different way I want to do this, and it still comes down to kind of a show and tell, and uh, I don't know. I kind of want to do a, a review, you know, not a review, but just kind of a um, what's in the box kind of a thing, just kind of give a quick rundown, maybe an example of play, and that kind of a thing, um, kind of like Marco does on his uh, channel. But, you know, nowhere is near the quality. And kind of go that way, and that way I can go through a lot more games, just, you know, giving them a, you know, what's in a box kind of a treatment. And not have to play the game all the way, or just play an example, you know, go through the sequence of play once or twice. That kind of thing. And not get myself bogged down into one game for very long, especially if I'm not really enjoying it. Um, I've got a bunch of other games that I really enjoy and would rather play, but you know, time, space, commitments, just don't always work that work that out, work out the way I'd like to. So, anyway, um, I'm gonna call this video series here. Um, definitely need some polishing. It uh, doesn't feel complete, and if it is complete, then. Uh, it just doesn't, f it, it's just not uh, player friendly, I guess. So, anyway, that's about seven minutes, so I think I'm going to cut it off here and I, I'm going to move on to something else. So, until then, take care and I'll see you later.